Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a little bit different. Um, no, unfortunately, it's not all about the butt. No peaches today, none of that, no glute action, none of that. We're going to be working on a different part of the body that's actually still very important um, and it also helps you to improve or enhance your feminine curves so we're working on the boulder shoulders the shoulders the shoulders the shoulders the shoulders head shoulders yes we're working on the shoulders today all right um Yes, we're back in the gym, so it is a gym-based workout. However, you can tailor this, and you can do this from home. You can do this in the, in, in the park. You can do it with resistance bands, or you can do it even with um, some tins of milk. So get adventurous. You can try this out wherever you go. So if you're already a member of the Must Be Fit community, don't forget to... Give us a thumbs up um, and comment below. Let me know what you think about this workout. Also, don't forget to share it with your friends. Sharing is caring. If you're new to the channel, um, if you just came across this workout, buy a kuinky dink. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss another workout with me. All right, let's just jump into this. Woo. All right, so jumping into the first exercise, this is like the staple. This is a staple exercise in every shoulder workout that I do. This is the seated dumbbell shoulder press. All right, um, just grab a pair of dumbbells, reasonable weight that you can actually control throughout the whole exercise. Grab yourself a bench to ensure that you can take out any movement from your legs and your hips and also to protect your back and get those dumbbells from about shoulder height to above your head. You wanna press up in a very controlled motion and breathe throughout every single rep. Come on, push those weights. On to the next exercise. All right, so this is an alternating single arm dumbbell shoulder press. I know, it's a mouthful. It's an actual mouthful. Um, but this exercise is very important and why I'll give you three quick reasons um, it challenges your core a little bit more so your stability of your overall abdominals will be much better it increases the time that your muscles are actually under pressure and under pressure muscles equals muscle growth a muscle tone so all of that good stuff that we want that's what's happening when we focus on one arm at a time and thirdly it increases your limb control so things that you want to do every day so everyday activities like reaching for something out of the cupboard driving one-handed of course as we all do um these movements are improved when exercises are performed unilaterally as if we haven't already done so much shoulder press movements um here's another one for you this is the Arnold Press. So this actually targets more than just the deltoids, so more than just the shoulders. It also targets the chest as well. Before getting into this exercise, you wanna make sure that your shoulders are super warm. So if you're actually doing this as one of your first exercises, just make sure that you warm up the shoulders adequately first. Also, if this is your first time performing this exercise, <laughs> you don't know what you've been missing. One, and two, I suggest that you start with a very light weight. Why I say this is because as soon as you start doing it, you'll realize that you don't need much weight in order to feel how taxing it actually is on the shoulders. You're gonna get all the benefits from light weight as well. Let's get moving into the next exercise. So next we have a upright row. So this exercise is actually a very efficient exercise. It's a move that actually targets not only your shoulders, but your upper back as well. So if you're looking to tone the traps, this is for you. 
If you know me, I love compound exercises. So I love exercises that I can get more than one benefit from. This right here will help you with that bra strap fat that we tend to have as ladies. And you'll also get those nice bolder shoulders. This next exercise is actually for those of you guys, or those of us, that are a part of the No Traps Gang. All right, if your traps are quite weak, if they're not as developed as you would like them to be, then this combo will definitely help you out. If you're used to using, say about 20 kg or 10 kg for um, frontal raises, you wanna go a little bit lower to maybe five kg and just rep it out because you're not doing just five reps. You're not doing just, you're not doing just 10 reps. Five reps of each motion. It's gonna burn like hell, but I know you can do this. Dun dun dun. If you're not dead by now, <laughs> if your shoulders are not dead by now, I dare you, I double dog dare you to try this last exercise. It's simple, but it burns. It's a dumbbell lateral raise. By doing this exercise, you enhance the look of your shoulders and it also gives your waist a smaller look and it also creates a contrast between the shoulders, waist and hip ratio. So your waist looks smaller, your hips look bigger and your shoulders look wider. That sounds perfect, doesn't it? All right, that's it. You've come to the end of the workout. You actually survived. Great job. Well done. Kudos. Congratulations. You done it. If you really enjoyed this workout, if you can lift your arms, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe and share this one with all your friends. Thanks for joining me. Bye.